Alright, so I got some good news and bad news. Bad news is I'm low on funds. I have hit the 20 cent mark. Bad news could be good news if you look at it in a good light. The original good news is that I have a free trip to San Francisco, California. My brother who does the moving. If you guys been watching my videos, you know every now and then I do. Oh, well, he has a gig in Phoenix, Arizona. So we have been driving from Houston, Texas to Phoenix, Arizona nonstop. 17 hours. We're in New Mexico right now. We still have six seven more hours to go. So I've been sitting here for about like 10 minutes. This thing says one moment, please. Do not leave pump unattended. You are responsible for spills. Looks like somebody spilled here because I'm walking in cat litter. What the hell's wrong with this pump though? For real, dog. What? Got the worst luck with pumps. Start over again. Card. Removed it. It's a debit card. Protect your pin. One, two, three, four. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I just hit canceled. I'm broke because of this right here. These costs and fuel and all the traveling I do. Man, if I didn't do any traveling, I'd be rich. I may not have money, but I have experience. I have hit 20 cents in my bank account, and I told him, I was like, shit, man, I don't know if I can make it to Phoenix. He lent me some money. The money he lent me is the money that I will be getting paid tomorrow, so I'm pretty much just going there for a free trip. Sam's taking a shit right now, and I'm pretending I'm not gonna see him because that means I have to clean it in the eyes of society. Watch it go. Watch it go. Boom! Fall! Like a show on the road, I'm closer to home. Still traveling out to Arizona. We based out here to do this edit, but there's no Wi-Fi. Mr. Sleepyhead Shazam. We're about to get off the exit to try the new Wi-Fi. My guest like has these on. There is not one spot open here. The hell am I gonna park? Sweet. Here we go. Yep. We're gonna jerk it, fill up, and hit the motherfucking road. Still driving, still on the road, the still cruising, <laughs> and I'm browsing. I don't really watch too many YouTube videos because I'm so busy making them. But since I've been on the road for 17 hours, today's the day where I can just browse. I'm watching this guy named Jesse Wellen. Will Smith on YouTube. Just do it. Oh! And we got a cop. Bam! 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 We are in fucking Arizona right now. Random ass glove here. We have been driving for 17 fucking hours. Finally got here. Not even in Phoenix. We're even further away. Place called Cave Creek. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going to sleep in here. Even though it says no camping, fuck that sign. Good morning from the parking lot of Walmart. Sam Walton put in his will that tired travelers are allowed to camp here overnight. I will fight that one to the death. I sprinkle some hot sauce on my eggs. So we have these laws, right? These rules against sleeping in parking lots. But when we're fucking traveling all night and we're super tired, we need to sleep. We need to. It's not even like, oh, we want to sleep. Like, no, we need to sleep. So would you rather us sleep on the road, on the highway, pull over on a fucking major highway and just go to sleep? Or would you rather us pull into a parking lot like Walmart to get some rest? Any public parking lot, if you're fucking tired, sleep. If you're tired, you go to sleep. If you're hungry, you eat. Nobody can tell me otherwise unless I'm in jail or the military. That's our brother in the big blue truck. That's your Uncle Rye. Ah! Uh, just put your hand out. Accepted! I remember Shazam. Yeah, you do a little Snapchat that you didn't you? Yeah, so you do know me. Yeah. What do you do when you're tired? Pass out. You go to sleep. Wherever. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're on the street in the middle of the road here. If someone runs you over, well, that's it. Well, the middle of the road's a little more dangerous than the parking lot <laughs> of Walmart. Yeah, that's just me, man. So this rule is just silly to me. I guess they don't want people selling drugs out here or some shit like that. I don't know. Then it should say no selling drugs. I think drugs should be illegal. I think drugs should be illegal with high regulations. I support drug use. I do too. You know what I don't support? Human abuse. I don't like that either. Fist driver pussy maker pinwheels. Yeah, that's what they do in the video. There's my manager right there. 
Yeah. Your manager's coming? Right there. The store manager is there. Where is he? Right there. That's my car. Right there. Getting that car. Oh, getting in that car. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Give me the car so I can back to work. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> here's my card. Right. Do you want to get love sprinkled? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take care, man. It's crazy, Mike. Now we're going to move some furniture right now. The two brothers. Everything I make today, I'm not really making because it's just fuel money to get me here. Yeah. Shout out to, to Cash App, yo. This, oh my God. The technology these days, like, you can instantly send money. Like, I'm about to do some slaw wah with my brother here. This is a 53 foot trailer. I'm up the trailer right now. Are you banging? Yo, are you banging? Yo. Yo. We are doing it. Oh, we got a big cat. Dude, you're always on the phone, bro. I'm a vlogger. I'll be able to pull straight out instead of back. We're trying to avoid walking in this heat all the way there to unload the shit. This 53 foot trailer and see if he can make this turn. I think he could, he's pretty good at it. You go down and like I said, the rope gets to the end, it'll go up, but it curves down this way also. Punch buggy blue, don't punch back. Oh, you are stacked to the T. It's literally falling off, you're so stacked. Not that bad, once that Suburban was out, we now have a whole shitload of room, so. It's not a full trailer. It's like 60% trailer. I missed the time lapse. Hard work out here. Almost done though, just got these boxes. And then all these pads have to be folded. All right, so apparently my brother, when he was driving, the wheels like ruined these uh, people's street. What's my story? Yeah. Well, you guys pulled in there and then pulled back out. Uh, my husband was over here at the pool, so he saw you. Are you sure it was that blue truck? Oh yeah, that was. I was sitting there the whole time it wasn't like that. Do you have video of it? I took pictures of everything. Do you have the actual like video of like the truck doing with the wheels? No. Shoot. I'm telling you, look, you know, I mean, really. Look it wasn't like that this morning. Marks. I was just down there. I'm gonna sweep it uh, to be a nice guy, but I'm telling you, I don't even know if it was the truck. I don't, I don't even, I haven't even talked to him at all, but this was not this way when I left this morning, or I would have driven right across, ran my dog and I came back, and it right. wasn't this way, this just happened. I was here when he was backed up there and there were no marks down there at all. Yeah, this is the, the shit that got. They do have picture evidence. They don't have any video evidence, so we're not 100% sure it was our truck, but I'm just being a nice guy and cleaning up the street here anyway. That's all dirt anyway, that'll come right off. I am sorry for the inconvenience though, but you have a great rest of the day, sir. I just don't really give a fuck about people like that. I don't even. I don't even talk to him sometimes. Do they make tickets for driving uh, on pavement? Yeah, we're gonna give you a ticket for driving on the pavement today. I swore this person's street and they were like, you know, complaining like, oh, you put chips in my street, like, we're gonna sue you. No less, no tomatoes? Listen, next time it rains, it'll sue them out. Name for the order? Right. All right, 2172. Thanks for sponsoring lunch, Rye. Yeah, no problem, bro. Thanks for sweeping up uh, my mess. We going on a road trip.
coming out here. Oh, fuck up. This is an emergency, not a video shoot. Shine the light on the thing over here. For a trucker, what do you think about California? It sucks. Here we are in Oakland, California. Vouse is still in the trouse, and the Vouse is coming down. The Vouse is off the trouse. Yeah. Talk to me about this job. Mike, open the door. I got you. This is his 15th day. 15th day? 15th day is a mover. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> We're taking everything off this 53 foot trailer, transporting it to this U Haul truck. This is what the ramp is for. Good boy. Everything in there goes through the ramp onto this, and then we bring it to the guy's house. How am I doing from one to Solid ten? Five and a half, six. Good job, though. <laughs> a for effort. <laughs> Officially, yo. We are done. So now we just making some phone calls. Oh my god, moving fucking suck today. I'm drinking to that one. I actually am trying to get a bus. I want to travel. What do you think the best part of traveling is? I just like being on the, like, being free. Hello. I'm sorry. This is I'm just napping here before yeah. I set the road. Okay. Where are you from? New Jersey. Oh, you in the Bay Area? No, I was actually doing a moving job. The moving truck that was here before. Oh, that big truck? That was my brother. I did a moving job for him. Okay. I mean, I could drink some coffee and head out. But yeah, just because of the way the van looks and stuff, you know, not to be targeting you or anything with that, it's just it doesn't fit with the regular motif of the, you know, the, the area. Okay. Okay, man. Thank you, sir. All right, have a good day. All right. All right, bye bye. Today I was kicked out of a public parking lot because my van looks different than everyone else's. As, as much as I wanted to stand up for my rights to express myself however the fuck I want, I choose my own battle. Arguing with this officer wasn't worth it. I bite my tongue and move on. It'll happen again and again and again. Welcome to our world. Sadly, it's full of judgment. If you want to fit in, do what everyone else does. If you want to stand out, Expect to be a target.